BlueJ project window. Um, here's a cool feature of BlueJ. It makes it really easy to create unit tests. So the way we create a new unit test is we right click on the mileage tracker class and choose the last menu option, which is create test case. So right click on mileage tracker, choose create test class, and you'll see a green box appear behind mileage tracker called mileage tracker test. The green box shows that it's a unit test and it's associated with the mileage tracker class. So we're just going to double click on this to open it up in our editor. A whole bunch of code is already generated for us here. And we're going to leave all of that alone. Okay. We're not going to mess with that. We're going to go to the end of the file. And just before the final closing brace on line 42, we're going to add um, the extra stuff here. First things first, um, I, I left some code in here I should have commented out. So we're going to comment out some code together. Okay. Um, so sorry about that. So these are the methods we wrote yesterday, increment miles driven and get miles driven. And we only did the method header and we left the body of the method as empty as possible. Now if it returns the value, we still had to return something, but we just made it like zero. Just to save time and because it's somewhat repetitive, I implemented the rest of the methods for us. Um, but what I want you to do is to go through and actually comment it out like I've done here in preparation. So here for increment fuel consumed, just put a comment before that line of code. And for get fuel consumed, comment out that line of code and instead say return 0, 0.0 like we did yesterday. So let's do these two methods first. And I should have done this up front. I wasn't thinking things through clearly. Um, so apologize for the extra work here. And then we're going to do the same thing for get mileage. Comment out both lines of code that are already there and add a return 0.0. .0. And for get vin, same thing, comment it out. Here, return an empty string. That's just quote, quote, or double quote, double quote. Make it so we can see all three of these, hopefully. And then same thing for set vin, just comment that out. Once you do that, the class should compile. 